Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn what is a cross table load and how to use it. First, I will show you an example using Excel. You can see the left hand side table where we have customer and sales of 3 years 2020, 2021 and 22. This is actually a pure table. Most of you definitely have used pure table in Excel. So by doing the cross table, we can transform the pure table into table where we have less number of columns, but the table will be taller compared to the previous table. This table will be having sales by year. Cross table is actually one type of load which is used to transform data. So it will transform a wide table with many number of columns into a tall table with many number of rows but with less number of columns. So we can simply say it's a unpivoting a pivot table. We can also say that it's converting a long horizontal table into a short vertical table. We will see the syntax of cross table. This is the syntax of cross table. We have to use the word cross table and there are two parameters which we need to mention. One is the attribute field name and second one is data field name. The third parameter is optional. This cross table is used with any load statement or any select statement. Attribute field name that means the field name which actually contains the data. So here in this example 2020, 2021 and 2022 these three fields actually containing data. So while using the cross table prefix I have to give one name to this field. So these three columns 2020, 2021 and 2022 I have given name as year and data field name. Data field name means here these three columns which we have converted to year containing sales values. So I need to give name of this data field. I am giving name as sales. First of all I will load a table which is in a pivot table format and then I will explain you why we need to convert this table into vertical table using the cross table prefix. First of all I will load this table where we have customer name and sales of those customers from year 2015 to 2018. I will load this table here and I will say this is my excel sheet and, and I will say sales. I will load this one and now I will add all the fields here so first of all say I want total sales say this is data from my company and I want total sales from 2015 to 2018 in that case, I can create a KPI and I have to do something like this. Sum of 2015 and then plus 16 plus 17 and plus 18. Then it will give me total sales. that is 32,020 but what when we have another year say we have year 2019 here then all my expressions where I have shown total sales I have to go and add 2019 means the total sales expression every time a new year is being added I have to go and manually add that particular year so my expression is not dynamic now it is one type of static expression where I am mentioning all the years manually. So that's the first reason we have to convert this table from horizontal table to vertical with many number of rows. Second is say I want to have this year as dimension means I want to have all these years in a filter like I have filter customer name. So when I select any customer I can see sales of that customer. But this I want also for year. Say I can select 2015 and I can see only sales of 2015. Yes, I can see from here. But 
we have considered something like uh, only four years but consider about month year we have data in a pivot table format for month year and we have like data of say 10 years then we have 120 month years so it will be difficult to scroll horizontal or vertical and to see the sales by month year so in that case i need those month year or year as a dimension which i can use as a filter here comes cross table node first of all i have to use the prefix cross table then my attribute field name which is here year because i want to give this field name as year if i have something like uh, i say january 2022 or february 2022 then i can use here month year but right now i have data by year so year and what type of information these columns are containing they are containing sales by year so i will give data field name as sales and the third parameter is number of qualifying fields by default it is one so if i will mention or if i will not mention it will by default consider as one so what is the meaning of qualifying field qualifying field means all the fields which are not used as attribute field name or data value field name so here these four fields we are using as a year and the data is converted to sales so only one field which is a customer name left that is being used as a qualifying field now i will load the application and will create i will create table at the front end so you can see now we have only three column one is customer name which is coming from this qualifying field one so only one field is there as it is so that's the customer name now we are getting year and sum of sales so we are simply we can use sum of sales and instead of writing this long expression we can say sum of sales here so the benefit is first of all my expression is very short now second is if tomorrow there is one more year 2019 being added in the data then it will come here by default the third thing is now i can use year as filter so now i can select 2017 and you can see now i am getting only 2017 sales now this is working so instead of this i can simply mention star it will still work the only things you need to consider here is this customer name should be at top i cannot do like that if this is the case then it will give me wrong data so now you can see it is giving me wrong data 2015 is now my qualifying field so whenever you are using cross table load you need to make sure that your qualifying field should come before your attribute field i can use star here or i can keep as it is if i will use as it is and tomorrow i have another year 2019 then i have to manually add it otherwise i can simply use as star right now i will use like this there are few limitations using cross table i will show you one by one what are the limitations first of all using the cross table i cannot use preceding row let's see the example i will write something i will say if year equal to 2018 then flag create a flag it will not work because this table is still under load and the year field is not created so you cannot use preceding load here but you can concatenate two different cross table loads so if i will load another table where i have data of 2019 2020 2021 and 2022 for the same customers so say this file is addition to the previous file but these two files are separate so if i will load this now 
these two tables will automatically get concatenated. And now you can see I have data up to 2022. And now if I select customer name, you can see I have data from 2015 to 2022. So we are taking this field name and converting to field values. Now we will see another example. We will see another example with two qualifying fields. So I will comment this one and I will create another node. This is example number two where we have two different qualifying fields. So here I will use the same cross table but instead of one I will use two because now I have two qualifying fields. So at the end of this load we will get customer name, product, year and sales four fields. We are getting now four fields here and I can use product as dimension. So now we are getting four different fields, customer name, product, year and sales. So when you have more than one qualifying field, you compulsory have to mention it here. If I will not mention, it will consider by default only one qualifying field that is customer name and product will be converted to your data field. This is how it will work. So you can see now product is coming as a year and product value is coming as a sales. You need to make sure that how many number of qualifying fields you have. Now we will see another example. I will actually delete this and I will do the third load. And here I will give name as sales and here I will do cross table. We will first see what these fields are. In the third load these fields are month here. So I will use here month here and sales and how many qualifying fields I have. I have now three qualifying fields customer name product and country. So I will do it three here. And I will load the application and we will see at the front end. Now we have customer name, country, product and sum of sales. But instead of year, we now have month year. So this is another limitations of cross table. Cross table will not interpret your numeric field. So from Excel, you can see this is your numeric field. This is your month year field. Cross table will automatically not convert this to your month year field or your dual field. So you can see it is coming as a tax. So whenever you do cross table and you think that this field should come as a dual or new numeric format, you first need to do a temporary load here. So I will say temp sales and then I have to do final load here. So I will say here sales and I will write here load then my customer name my product country month year sales resident of my temp sales table and I will say drop table temp sales and here I will use prefix no concatenate okay so now because month year is not getting interpreted automatically by click I have to manually interpret it. So to do that I have to use number has function and I will say number has month year as my month year. So now it should come as a number format and it will be right align. Now I can convert this one to month year. I can say date and I will say MMM YY yy as my new format. So now you can see we are getting exact month here which we have same as excel file. 
So whenever you are loading any field from any file, cross table will not automatically do the numeric interpretation. Then you have to first use the manual interpretation and then by using the formatting function, you have to convert it to the desired format. So number hash is the interpretation function and date is actually formatting function. Number, number hash, time hash, date hash, timestamp hash. These are the interpretation function and when you remove hash, they are the formatting function. There are two major limitations of cross table. First one is numeric interpretation will not work and the second one is you cannot use preceding rule. In next video, we will see how to use cross table where you have more than one measure. So right now here you have only sales, but it could be possible you have sales and profit both. So how to handle that type of load, we will see in next video. Thanks and have a great day.